Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my loves. I do want to give you guys a quick update. Um, while having a few conversations with a few of my colleagues and throwing around uh, certain subjects that we find not a lot of people really talk about it is something that I really want to bring to the table and you know, talk to you guys about it. So I decided to make this podcast. We're going to call it Cafecito, uh, only because for me, uh, if you are Mexican like myself or perhaps of any type of Hispanic or land descent, you know that coffee time is a way to bond and connect with your family and loved ones uh, the while having conversations, right? Talking about life, talking about what's going on, etc. So we're going to start this podcast. I want, like I said, I want to highlight things that not a lot of people talk about or perhaps don't want to address in the practice. Um, so you guys can definitely, and I will highly encourage you guys throughout this process to go to my Instagram, my TikTok, or my Snapchat, uh, message me or DM me subjects that you guys would like for us to bring here and talk to you guys about it. I will also be collaborating with other people, uh, talking about anything that has to do with the practice, with um, with life in general, with relationships, uh, with career and finances and all that good stuff. So like I said, I highly encourage you guys to DM me or message me things that you guys would want for us to bring to the forefront and address or talk about. In this episode, what I do want to talk about um, something that, you know, we kind of agreed, um, what is spirituality? And that's something that many don't understand or perhaps have a misconception of it. And because of social media, because of, you know, all this content that people are pushing it's almost like it's become this thing where it's not what those that are spiritual or that are in their spiritual journey, it is a lifestyle. And I feel like because of so much content that has been created around that, it's become almost like the thing to do or for aesthetic or for, you know, pushing you know, other type of services. And I think that it's kind of been watered down, um, maybe even become a bit comical the way people talk about it. And I think that it's important for us to understand, first of all, what is spirituality? And spirituality is the path or the journey of getting to know you, reconnecting with yourself and finding your true power. Spirituality is about shedding our, you know, preconditioned ideas or preconditioned um, limits, I should say, in early childhood and really getting to reconnect with ourselves and with our true purpose and with our true authentic self. Um, that's what spirituality is. It's not, you know, as an example, spiritual awakenings is something that's almost become so, you know, watered down, like I said, and it's, it's, you know, it's a process and it's a process that doesn't happen overnight. I often, you know, hear people talk about their spiritual journeys or their spiritual awakenings, quote unquote, um, and it's really filtered to bullshit. It's been filtered to, you know, what others, it's kind of like going with the, going with the trend or going with the, what the masses are doing. And we have to understand that again, spirituality, much like the practice, it is a lifestyle. It's not an aesthetic. It's not, you know, it's about wisdom. And a lot of people don't like that part of it, which is the most crucial part of it. 
it's kind of like when people come to me and they tell me, oh, I want to practice or I want to get into witchcraft. Um, how do you do spells? And to me, because I was taught very differently, I was taught to nurture and to hone and to sharpen my already gifts and abilities to then be able to, you know, branch out into other aspects of the practice before even getting to spell work. So a lot of people like to take shortcuts and, you know, they like to talk about, oh yeah, you know, last year I went through a spiritual awakening and, and it's not to say that their experience is not a reality. What I'm saying is that being on the spiritual path is something much like the practice where there's no ending to your evolution, to your growth, to your expansion. And all of these content creators, all of these, you know, people that are pushing this type of content, um, you know, I, I hear them say certain things. And to me, those are major red flags, just like an example, TikTok, you got a bunch of young creators pushing like spells. And it's because, like I said, it's a trend is a thing to do without really knowing what they're doing, one, and two, they're encouraging other people and young people at that to do things without explaining the reasoning behind it. And it, it just creates more of chaos and we already have chaos in life. Um, I think that, you know, going back to that of spirituality, um, it's about evolving. And any of the content creators that you follow, anyone that you look up to that, you know, is teaching or, or speaking about this, one of the things that you want to really pay attention to is people that like to portray themselves as knowing it all or like they know it and this is the truth and there's nothing other than the, what they're trying to say or what they're preaching. Um, I find that not only negative, but I also find that absurd because in spirituality, it's it's evolving. And a spiritual awakening is something that we, in our spiritual path, will be experiencing not only one time in our lives. It's something that you continuously keep experiencing. You know, there's no cap or there's no limit to how many times you will be experiencing those spiritual awakenings. Um, it's aligning yourself with the God within you, with your godliness. It is, you know, what many speak about, you know, the, the Christ consciousness. It is becoming whole and understanding the connection that we have with everyone around us, with everyone, absolutely every single soul in this planet and in beyond. Okay, it's it's connection. And like I said, it's something that you continuously keep evolving. You continuously keep experiencing. You don't stop. So again, I think what really infuriates me is, you know, people pushing these narratives of, you know, this is how it is because my experience, this is how you have to experience it and so on and so on. The same thing as with the practice or with people that do the esoteric arts, you know, everyone learns in a very different way. But if you're following people that are telling you, you know, you cannot do this, you, you have to do it, you know your belief system has to be the way mine is that's not true and that's bullshit because anyone that is part of spiritual path everyone's experience in that spiritual realm in that spirit spirituality is to find your truth and what my truth may be may not resonate with you and so on and so on and again, it is integration. It is the integrating of our past experiences, our past lives, right? You've experienced many lives or many lifetimes. And this is why many will find that you are gifted in certain aspects and not that good in other aspects. And that's okay because you're here 
to sharpen or to tap into what you still need to evolve in. It doesn't mean that you won't be able to, as an example, if you are naturally gifted at healing, it doesn't, and let's say you try, uh, you know, you're trying planetary magic, for instance, um, and you find it very difficult to manifest and very difficult to actually see results. It doesn't mean that you're not capable. It just means that you're not as knowledgeable or as experienced in that. Everything takes practice, you guys. Everything in life is practice. And those that try to take shortcuts and those that don't like to put in the work and do what is necessary to get them to alignment with their higher self and, you know, those that are not willing to put in that work are going to continuously keep being experiencing a lot of chaos in their life and a lot of difficulties and not only that, but backlash as well, because you got to remember, you experience what you are within in the outside world, meaning whatever you put out comes back to you. Um, this is why you experience, you know, uh, certain politicians or certain artists or people that you look up to, um, you know, that they accidentally or not accidentally, but that they get recorded or video recorded while they they're not looking and they are like expressing or being who they really are. And then people are thrown aback because they're like, oh, my God, I never knew that this person was that horrible. Everyone is walking around with masks, with facades. Um, and part of being spiritual or being in the spiritual path is that you learn to hone in to your intuition and to strengthen it. And, and and the more you do so, the more powerful it becomes where you're able to read people just by the simple, just, just by seeing them in their natural, you know, in their natural being, just by hearing their words that are coming out of their mouth and your intuition is telling you, you know, they're feeding you bullshit or they're talking out of their ass or, or they're being authentic, you know, so I, I wanted to make this episode, if anything, to teach you guys that in spirituality, don't decide to, to follow a spiritual path if you're not willing to put in legwork, basically. If you're not willing to, because ultimately all that work and all that knowledge and all that experience that you will gain is for self, meaning for you, for no one else, but for yourself. And you have to love yourself so unconditionally that you continuously want to keep evolving and growing. And this is why, you know, I'll give you guys another example. A lot of people talk about, you know, in the spiritual path or being spiritual is embracing the light and only the light. And it's about, you know, um, ignoring or suppressing your darkness though they don't say it that's what they mean by it and it's you know kind of like when people say I only practice white magic there's no white or there's no black there is both and it's in an integration you cannot be one without the other everything in life you guys is balance balance the yin and the yang the positive and negative you cannot have one without the other and you know, talking about like, you know, being spiritual means being able to tap or go into that dark room of who you really are, who you've suppressed, those aspects and parts of you that you don't like, those aspects and parts of you that you criticize or judge or that people have criticized or judged or that they have, you know, shamed you for. It's going in there and willing to embrace it, willing to sit with it, acknowledge it, and know this is a part of who I am. I cannot remove it. I cannot ignore it. I cannot suppress it. Because the more you suppress something, the more constant you will experience resistance in that. So it is about being able to not fear the dark aspect of who you are to love it so unconditionally that that's when the light comes in. 
So the light is you. You are energy in motion. You are an eternal being. You are energy and energy can never be extinguished. It could never be diminished. So what does that mean? That means that when you're on the spiritual journey, you're on the spiritual path and you do shadow work, shadow work is a very important thing or a very important process for anyone that is in manifestations, that is in law of attraction, that is in the practice, the esoteric, anything that has to do with the manipulation of energies needs to understand the integration and the importance of integrating your light and darkness in shadow work. That's what shadow work is. It is accepting every single aspect of who we are so that we can feel whole, so that we can accept ourselves unconditionally. So therefore, you become enlightened with the understanding that you are an eternal being, that there is God within you, that you are part of God. There is godliness in you. Therefore, there is no limits to what your mind can perceive as of reality. And there is no limit to what you're able to manifest or draw into your life with no limit. We are the only ones that create those limits, which is why shadow work, which is why walking down the path of spirituality is very important. It, it, it is the all eternal web that connects us all. Whatever is, whatever will be, whatever has been, will ever be. You know, what, what, it, and this is when we get into, like I said, energy manipulation, that you're always able um, to transmute, to transmute energies, to, you know, turn certain aspects of your life, whether it's through you know, whether it's through witchcraft, whether it's through, through manifestation, you're always able to morph or twist or turn or manipulate the energies to your benefit so that you can experience or draw to you the things that you want to manifest or that you want to experience. You are the only one that creates those limits. You are the only one that decides if you're worthy or not, again, shadow work, this is why it's so important. Once you understand that there are no limits to the possibilities of what you're capable of doing, and that a lot of our ideas, a lot of our personality even, is not so much about who we are, it has more to do with how we have been conditioned. So again, if you are getting into spirituality, learning about spirituality, what spirituality is, is basically understanding the true power that you are. It is understanding that there is connection to everything, everything that is energy. That is what spirituality is. And it's the constant desire and want for growth and expansion. Like I said, it, it's it's not, you know, a lot of people talk about, as an example, spiritual awakenings as if, oh, it, it, they either, you know, scare you, they try to scare the, the, the people about it, or they create this beautiful idea behind it. Yes, it's beautiful because you're transforming. But they also should to also talk about the experience within that spiritual awakening. What is a spiritual awakening? A spiritual awakening is the death of who you were, meaning the death of the past energy, the past version of who you were. It is the death of that to be able to embrace and align yourself to the higher version of who you are. So in that death, in that transformation, it's going to be painful. You know, I'll give you guys an example when going through, and like I said, everyone that is in the spiritual journey, you know that I'm sure if you've experienced spiritual awakenings, you know that it's something that is going to continuously keep evolving and keep happening because who you are now may not be who you are tomorrow. 
you could experience something right now or today that completely transforms your life, that completely changes a certain aspect of your life and you're no longer who you were 15 minutes ago. We are constantly evolving. We are constantly growing. And, you know, like I said, and the thing about spiritual awakenings, it doesn't happen overnight. It is something that is very subtle. I'll give you guys an example. When first getting into, or I should say, when first embracing my path, I resisted that path for many, many years. You know, my way of thinking was, I don't want to be dealing with other people's bullshit. I don't want to have to carry more responsibility than I'm already dealing with. I, I just was trying the best I could or the most I could to run away from responsibility of the gifts that I was born with. I tried to deny them. I tried to just not deal with it. When I first started embracing that, it was a progression of spiritual awakenings that were happening where it came to the realization, as an example, that I could no longer run in the circle that I did before because I realized when having a interaction with them on a social setting, I really started paying attention to the conversations that I were carrying and I came to the realization, I don't care a shit about what they were talking about. It just didn't connect with me anymore. It didn't make sense to me anymore. And instead of embracing that, which I would do that in the past, I started questioning myself while they're having this interaction. I'm asking myself in my head, why am I here? Why am I around these people? Like I have nothing in common with them anymore. And it was almost like your soul was like, get away from this type of environment. Why? Because you're no longer connecting. So when you're having spiritual awakenings, you're experiencing the disconnect. This is why in this process, a lot of times people often become hermit mode. They become very secluded because you realize that you're no longer connecting with the people that perhaps you used to vibe with or that they are not bringing to you uh, any type of knowledge that helps you on your journey. Relationships, partnerships, connections, friends, people that you've known all your life you start to feel very disconnected from them. And it could be a very lonely process. And again, it's something that a lot of people don't talk about, but that's the reality of it. And it becomes so lonely sometimes that it literally feels like you're mourning the loss of something. And it's the loss of the old version of who you were because you're stepping into your new alignment. So I hope that this gives you guys a little, a better, a little understanding of what spirituality is and what should motivate you if you are trying to embrace this type of lifestyle, what you should be looking forward to and what you should be embracing um, versus just the hype or what people paint. Um, it, it's, it's good and bad as if everything in life, right? But the betterment of this is for your evolution for your growth for your self-development for your empowerment it is about you and that's what shadow work is as well it is the understanding that you are perfect the way you are made the way you are you there is no accident there's no coincidences you are who you are for a reason for a purpose you know whether it's the life or or the family that you got whether it's the people around you, whatever it is, there's no coincidences. There is a purpose and a reason for it. The more you start to embrace that, the more powerful you become, the more you come to the understanding that there is literally no limits to what you're capable of doing in this lifetime, because that's why we chose to come into this lifetime. To be able to feel or to experience the having feelings, to be able to experience the happiness as well as the sorrow, because you cannot know what happiness is if you haven't felt what def being defeated was or what, you know, being down in the trench is like. You must have one with the other. So I hope that this helps you guys. I hope that it gives you a little more deeper understanding. This is our first episode. You guys like, share, comment. Let me know if you guys enjoy this and I will keep coming for more 
message me, DM me, you guys, let me know subjects that you would want me to talk about. And like I said, you can look forward to collaborations with other people so that we can just sit here, have a cafecito or sip on some wine or whatever it is that you're into and have a conversation. I hope you guys enjoy this. Happy holidays to all of you guys. And I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye-bye.